Horses on the track and parading to the post for the 10th. Here they are, number one, Metro A, is owned by the Bell Racing Stable of Cedar Knolls, New Jersey, trained by Jim Doherty, Jr., driven by Larry Stahlbaum. Number two, Keystone Navigator, owned by Larry Roman of Mount Vernon, New York, is trained and driven by John Anderson. Number three, Image of Power, is owned by Laura Beth D'Agostino of Vernon, New York, trained and driven by Joe D'Agostino. Cherry Pie, number four, owned by W.W. Siegel of West Orange, New York, and the Strawberry Stable, is trained by Jean Drolet and driven by Tim Curtin. Here's Queenie Rocks, number five, owned by Sam Rice of Monticello, New York, trained by Maria Rice, driven by Jack Rice. The six is Esquire Ascot, owned by Frank Deliberti of Dover, Delaware, trained and driven by Bart Dalius. Here's number seven, Cello Hanover, owned by Stephen Markoff of Denville, New Jersey, trained by Tony Salerno, driven by Steve Markoff. Number eight, Celebrity Princess, is owned by Frank Petrelli of Monticello, New York, O.C. Eiler, Jr. of Philadelphia, trained by Frank Petrelli, driven by Bruce Aldrich, Jr. And completing the field, number nine, is New Regal Joy, owned by Mike Sorrentino of Yonkers, New York, trained and driven by Claude Huckabone III. Those are the nine trotters for the tenth race. Win, place, show, exact, a trifecta, late pick three, wagering, add Lasix to number two, Keystone Navigator, three minutes until post. Nine trotters off to an excellent start here. And they're off from the center of the track. Esquire Ascot sprinting out for the lead for Bart Dalius. Queenie Rocks is rocking right along with him in second. It's a length back to Cherry Pie in third. Cello Hanover from the outside looks for a seat in the fourth position, followed up by Metro A in fifth. From the outside looking for a seat in sixth comes New Regal Joy. Then it's another length back at the inside in seventh to Image of Power. They continue on the first turn, and Queenie Rocks has taken command here by two over Esquire Ascot. Cherry Pie at the inside is third, moving to the outside. Cello Hanover with an early move for Steve Markoff from fourth. Two lengths behind that one. Metro A is fifth. Then it's another length and a half back. Along the inside in the sixth spot is New Regal Joy, followed two lengths by Keystone Navigator in seventh. A length back has Image of Power in eighth and Celebrity Princess Trails. They continue past a quarter in 28 and three, and it's Queenie Rocks battling with Cello Hanover. That early move did not get Cello Hanover to the top. He's going to be hung into the second turn. Queenie rocks along the inside of second. Now going off stride, Esquire Ascot. Esquire Ascot has made a break and advancing up into the third spot comes Cherry Pie. It's a length back to Metro A is fourth. Two lengths back. Behind that one, Celebrity Princess is fifth. Another length and a half at the inside comes Keystone Navigator in sixth. To the outside, Image of Power is seventh. They race up the backstretch off a blistering half of 57 and one. Queenie rocks. Can she keep it going? Still on top by three parts of a length. Cello Hanover had a big two hole to fall in into, but instead decided to stay on the outside and is grinding it out. Metro A moves back to the rail in third, has the leaders in his sights. Three lengths behind that one to Cherry Pie in fourth. Here's Image of Power getting underway with a strong move from fifth now. Three quarters in 127 and two and Queenie rocks the inside. Cello Hanover's been out there a long way and is still grinding on. Metro A ready to attack the top two from third and watch out for Image of Power who's closing from fourth. They hit the top of the stretch. Cello Hanover's got a big mile. He's got a nose in front. Queenie rocks at the inside is back in second. Outside, Metro A is third. Far outside, Image of Power from fourth. And it's Cello Hanover who's taken command. Here's Image of Power the outside second. Cello Hanover! Cello Hanover won a huge mile to win it. Very tight for second between Image of Power and Queenie Rocks in 159 flat. Seven, Cello Hanover first. Number three, Image of Power second in the five. Queenie Rocks third. Seven, three, five unofficially in race ten. Into the winner's circle, number seven, Cello Hanover, owned by Steve Markoff of Denville, New Jersey, trained by Tony Salerno and driven to victory by Steve Markoff. Cello Hanover, six-year-old Bay Gelding by Dancer's Victory out of Celestial Way, goes a huge mile tonight, attempts a quarter move to the lead, doesn't get it, but remains parked the rest of the way, grinds down the leader, holds off the closer for his fourth win of the season, trotting a mile here in 159 flat. Number seven, Cello Hanover, earned it tonight, and the results of race 10, official.